Hey, what's going on everybody? So before I get into the whole video about um, loadouts and mods and progression and all that, I want to take a moment to talk about the VIP demo, which drops on January 25th through the 27th. So if you have pre-ordered Anthem, you will get access to that. And if you're still on the fence about pre-ordering the game, there is going to be an open demo for everybody February 1st through the 3rd. And I'll put a link down in the description for both of those. That way you can go in and make sure that you, if you did pre-order, you're, you're good to go for the VIP and uh, you know how to go download it and everything. And if you're looking to play the open demo, uh, the link will be in the description below. You can check that out and come play the game and see what you think. Maybe it'll convince you to pre-order. All right, let's get into the mods and the gears and the loadouts and the progression and everything else. This is going to be a really good one, so pay attention. All right, so when loading out your javelin, there's going to be five points that you're going to be looking at, such as the Colossus here, you've got your assault launcher, your weapons, your ordnance launcher, components, and your support gear. So if you're looking at maybe a ranger, um, the differences would be on the ranger, you have a grenade gear, you've got your uh, assault launcher, weapons, of course, your uh, support gear as well. So. Each javelin will have its five points, and uh, you'll focus on those those loadouts before you get into your gameplay and take on a mission or a uh, you know story or something like that. So when we're talking about power level increases, it, that doesn't happen within your javelin itself and what you load into it. The power level actually increases with your pilot and and his experience or her experience as you play story missions and stuff like that. Now the rarity is going to scale uh, on your gear and weapons and components from common. To rare, epic, legendary, and then masterwork. Now, each of your items, so whether it be a weapon or a component or whatever, will have what's called an inscription on it. And the lower the level, say it's common or rare, uh, epic, it may only have one or two inscriptions, but legendary and masterworks have up to four inscriptions. Now, there's supposed to be over a hundred different inscriptions uh, for weapons and components and, and stuff like that, and each one will provide a different bonus or status to your javelin and help you do more damage or get your shields back quicker or whatever it may be. You also have different um, status effects or you know, elemental effects whether it be fire, electricity, or you know, be able to freeze your, your enemies. Now keep in mind that the higher your pilot level is, the better the loot drops are going to be uh, out in the world of Anthem. Now if you take a look at the Colossus here, you can see his gear score in the top right is a 225. So, He's got a few, you know, epic uh, weapons and components on here, and then he's got some, you know, some commons. So his gear score is a little lower compared to the Ranger, which is a masterworked version here. And he's sitting at like 433, and he's running all masterworked gear, which also comes with like four inscriptions on each one of his components and weapons that he has equipped. So one thing you need to keep in mind with the inscription, so you'll get some of them will have bonus damage or get your shield back or help you get your ultimate quicker. You'll also notice that some inscriptions will um, deal more damage during combo effects. So like one javelin may um, free somebody and then yours with, will have an intrinsic perk to catch them on fire and it, together it does extra damage. Now taking a look at a couple of the weapons that's equipped on this Colossus, you've got a uh, heavy weapon here which is a grenade launcher. Shows RPM, ammo, op, uh, optimal range, and then grenades skip before exploding, enhancing effective range. And you can see the three intrinsic perks, which this is a promo build, so there's no uh, numbers there for the percentages. And here's a close up look of the scout rifle. Anybody can use, and you can see the damage, RPM, ammo, optimal range, uh, what it can do, and of course, the three intrinsic perks that are attached to this specific weapon. Now components are very essential to the javelin. You know, it, you can tailor and customize it for your playstyle. Uh, they're, they're the attributes that define what your javelin will be able to do during combat and how it will react uh, to, to your teammates as you play together. Now looking at the components, I think this is going to probably be the most uh, you know, important part of your javelin build because the inscriptions will help you either get you know uh, X percent more ammo. Uh, deal more, uh, have more resistance, deal more damage, get your shield back quicker. So grouping these together to uh, for a specific build is going to be essential to your gameplay and your style and how uh, you can help your teammates out in the process as you're playing together. 
Uh, components are javelin specific, and you can basically break it up into two categories, utility benefits and damage benefits. So one giving you more ammo or increased flight time, the other one uh, increasing uh, your impact or blast radius for a grenade, for example. So you really need to pay attention to what components you're adding to your javelin and how uh, they work in conjunction with your uh, with your weapons and your play style and everything. And you know, there's going to be random rolls for certain weapons or random rolls on components and what they actually do and how they benefit you in your javelin as you um, progress throughout the story. Now there will be uh, three levels of difficulty at launch: lancer, freelancer, and then master. And as you progress. And play the game more it's going to unlock three more levels which is called grandmasters one two and three so in wrapping up just want to make sure i touch base on a couple of the uh the points here uh, there are going to be random rolls uh, for the inscriptions on your components and weapons so make sure you're paying attention to what you're loading up uh, on your javelin so you know what your play style is going to be so if you want to uh, do more damage while hovering. You want to make sure you're equipping those components and if you want to do more damage uh, for melee based stuff then make sure you're equipping components that fit within that play style. Alright well that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as always a like is greatly appreciated and if you want to find out more I will have more Anthem videos coming out so hit that subscribe button and I will be streaming on Twitch and I do that every Friday night and every Saturday night and uh, that's going to do it for me. We'll talk to you guys next time.